Welcome back to season two of Airtime with Jay. I'm your host Jay Edwards and Airtime with Jay is a safe space to have real conversations with some of your favorites. This season is sponsored by Jay Radio and King's Child Lounge. Be sure to check out all the details in the description box below. In today's episode, today's guest is celebrating 20 years of her career. Join me as I welcome dancers Ian Joe, the Angel. It's all about style, poison, grace, fashion, production. All them a chat, a time them a waste. Sure, back up and come out and me fear. Atlas is a gift from the art to just art. Remember this pretty look. Hello, Mercy. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Oh, nice to have you on my show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a pleasure. How are you Thanks feeling? Thanks for having me. I'm feeling good. I'm alive. Yes. <laughs> but now that you look good though from online to real life. Thank you. How you do it? Keep the youthness and stuff like that. It's just a blessing from God. You know, when yeah. you keep your heart clean, it shows. I tell people every day, just keep your heart clean and it shows out outwards. Yeah. What's yes. happening inside shows on the outside. Yeah. yeah. So beautiful inside and outside. Yeah. You say I celebrate 20 years of your career. Yes. How do you feel? 20. 20. I feel elated. I feel I belong here. Yeah. It's my place. You've played a big yeah. part in dance art history. And for those of you guys that don't know, obviously I'm on this journey. I'm trying to make sure you guys know about the history and stuff. And D'Angelo, mm -hmm. she's had an extensive history in dance art. And I yeah. kind of want to highlight that today mm -hmm. and to see what's going on. So I felt like this was the perfect time, especially with all that's going on right now. So I want to learn about you as a businesswoman actor artist model mm -hmm. and stuff like that how did you get into modeling why the journey has been like a journey it's 20 years of everything actually no wait sorry bartender run up the drinks we can't start the show without the drinks bartender run up the drinks big up king style lounge <laughs> so, so officially yes yes officially yes mm -hmm. so let's run up the drinks so some guys let's for the angel tell me where to stop one more yeah as rum cream is not it's thick, so we like yeah. when it's smooth out. So yeah, model, businesswoman, actor. Um, what else you do? Um. Yeah, model, businesswoman, actor, artist. You do really possible. Philanthropist. Woman. Philanthropist. Yes. How about that? When you give back. Oh, when you give back, yeah, you do yeah. a lot of charity work. Too. Humanitarian. Yeah. Yes. So I see you take a first lady title quite serious because that's first lady. Actually. It's just it's just me taking myself serious. It's not. Any accolade of dance hall, it's just me. No, I know that, but first lady. But, but well, it, it, it's it's just happening and it resonates with what a first lady would do. Yeah. But I'm not doing it because I'm the first lady of dance hall. I'm doing it because of who I, who, I, who I am as a human being. It's very fitting. You know? Yeah. How did you get the name The Angel? The Angel, no. Yeah. It started out from modeling. Mm -hmm. um, I started out as, my middle name is Angel, so I had that name doing modeling. But from music, I just add the D. Yeah. So it more, you know, distinct. More so distinct. D Angel. Does, yeah. it, does the D stand for anything? Um, downtown girl in the uptown life. Where do you come from? Forget for part of that slogan. Spanish town. Spanish, Spanish town. Yeah. Okay. What was it like growing up there? It was great. I grew up with all my siblings. It was great. It was great. I learned everything from my from Spanish town. Humble beginning. We yeah. got to the, from going to river, swimming in the river, learning to swim, from climbing tree, from yeah. just doing things that you do when you're kid so yeah. i think i did um growing up in spanish town i couldn't trade it for anything with little dandy shandy yeah we do all of that you know we play um well dandy shandy yeah sightings Kako is that him yeah Kako is that him. you know that yeah <laughs> yes so i mean my childhood was amazing it was I quite it active for anything else quite active with all mm. my siblings both yeah. parents you know i lost my father you know may soul rest oh, in peace I'm sorry to hear that yeah, yeah so you know what effect life. did that have on you Huh? Your father. I, I mean, it, it, it was really a sad time for all of us, and even Father's Day just gone, it kind of really yeah, it, it touched you a bit. broke my heart. But you know, I'm still doing what he would love love for me to do, yeah, which is my music because he's already he's talented as well, yeah. So I'm just continuing, so I know he's proud of me yeah. and he's watching over me, so I'm just not giving up, not, not shying away from. Everything that comes with entertainment and music, I've just pursued my goals and dreams, and that's what my dad would want. So yeah. I'm just pressuring well, the thing. Pressure. You've done a few notable songs, Baby Father with Vibes Cartel. You obviously have One Man, No Worries. You have, you know, you have one song where you never did two release, Just Hot. You remember that song there? From your actor, Just Hot. Why you never release that song? Why, boy, I don't even know it. And you can't release again because song can't done. Yeah. Song can't steal. I want the song do. 
50 years and you, are you can re-release it again. Yeah. I mean, at just at? Sang the bad, you know? That one there? Yeah. Sang the bad. Yeah, bad. I mean, man, it's pretty looks. Please, that don't send a yeah. shop. My yeah, girl, my at just, yeah. I mean, at just at. Yeah, because you're the original hot girl at dance hall, innit? Is that hot girl song that you know? Yeah. Like hot girl road. Yeah, because you're the original hot girl at dance hall. Original. Yeah. Yes, and nothing can change more and still is. And still is. Yeah. Well, you have the look same <laughs> way, you get what I mean? That will never fade or yeah. go nowhere. The, the, the older I get, it, it's, you know, it just looking, looks, looking better like fine wine. Yeah. Hmm? So, D'Angelo, what inspires your music? Where well, life inspires my music, um, mm. my life. Yeah. <laughs> just things that I see happening. Mm. So it feels between all of them sitting there, you know. You know, all of them sitting there. Yeah. But sometimes I'll pick up something that's happening and I'll, and I'll write about it. Yeah. Or sometimes something will be happening with me. So everything is just true life stories. True it's life true stories. Life relatable music, to you. Relatable to me and yeah. others. Because every time you do music that's relatable to you, then it's gonna relate, it will be relatable to somebody else because we are humans. Yeah, 100%. And obviously you sing about hotness. You endorse yourself a lot. Oh, it's been no worries, nobody for stress it out and then there's something there's so also I do reggae music. And reggae music. Yeah, for yeah. the soul. Yeah. Um that um, uplifting music. So it's a fuse between dancehall and reggae music and, and uh, you know, from the hot girl level as you know to the to the reggae up up Upcoming, temp, yeah. um uplifting um songs. Where does the fuel for that type of music come from in terms of in your confidence? Oh, it comes from from a bar and confidence. Yeah. I was born confident. And growing up in Spanish town, yeah. my mom, all of us as siblings, we used to perform yeah. and entertain my mother. And so I've always been that one that's winning. Oh, you always entertaining your mom as well? Yes, yeah. growing up in Spanish town, my yeah. mom always put us out to sing. So I'm always winning. Okay. So from this, I know that I was destined for greatness. So I'm okay. always a win. I'm yeah. competing with siblings, them always are with them. So I'm always that girl. You know? that girl. What did your parents or your mom think of when you started music? What was the reception from your family? She, I started out doing modeling first. Oh, you started with modeling yes. first? Yes. Yes, let's start with that. How did you start your career? And I'll never retire. Huh? I'll never retire from modeling. I'll never, never retire. retire, no. Yeah. So how did you start? Model, how did you get in there to answer? Started out doing modeling um, in my community and um, entering competitions in my community as well. Okay. But I, I got signed when I came to Kingston, I, you know, on my way to college one day. Yeah. And I got signed, you know, from a modeling agency called Miguel Modeling Agency at the time. Okay. And um, from there I started working with them, so I started doing professional modeling now. Okay. From photo shoots to, 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 to runway, to yeah. different fashion. Because people, if you, if you guys didn't know, the angel, especially back in the day, I know, she didn't really hot. She didn't have the looks in, especially when you go up on YouTube and say, Not did. Still. No, they, yeah, that was oh. it then and now. We look better now, I think. Yeah, but well, you still have the looks in. I don't think, I don't think your age wrong. Like, compared to most people who are up in that age, you're very good. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? Well, compared I to most, and you're very active and you're, and you're very put together, same yeah. way, yeah. type of thing. So, yeah, but that. So, would you say you was popular before modeling? Like, was you quite popular in school? The people, how was that? I mean, I was very humble growing up, but I have the talent. I played netball for Jamaica. Oh, okay. Used to play netball for Jamaica under 19 team. So I was that girl from school, modeling, yeah. singing every chance I get at all my assemblies, all my school shows. Mm. All my, so I was that girl. Yeah. And then I. You was that girl. That girl still yeah. is. So, <laughs> mod, I, so the modeling, I just yeah. did the modeling as well when we started entering competitions here, there, all about. Mm -hmm. And stick singing as well. I was been performing. Oh, so you were singing, but are you? Uh, yeah, singing yeah. and modeling in my community. Mm -hmm. And just little you know, parishes here and there where, where, where they would take us. Because I used to be a part of a group called the YWCA, Young Women okay. Christian Association. Yeah. So we used to just enter different things. And I model independently of that. And, you know, enter different. Every little thing we hear, yeah. more enter it. Okay. My mom support me and my whole family. My so father. you was kind of like a go getter to want to try things. Yes, you never shied away always. From nothing. Not, nothing. You like the spotlight, though. No? Yes. Yeah. Yes, the spotlight look, fit me. Yeah, it fit me. Yeah, it fit me. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> so Born to do this. To wrap up the school part and the education part, was there anything else aside from modeling? Like, was it always the entertainment business or the industry you wanted to enter in from No, no, part? no. I, I wanted to just be that model that models the world. Okay. But, and I started out, I opened up my boutique. Oh, you had a boutique? Before music. 
Yeah. Okay. So I'm more business because I studied business in school. Same. Yeah. So I'm more like a business woman, you know? Yeah. So I opened up my boutique and was there doing my my business and all that before before music. Yeah. So I was doing modeling and okay. then at my boutique. Yeah, the boutique. And then music. Oh, so business is what Music you professionally. Because I started music from me young, you know, but I wasn't doing it professionally. Music. Okay. Because I was too, I, I, I loved modeling more. Yeah. So I never thought that I would have a music career. I thought I would have a modeling, modeling career. career. Okay. But yeah, I have everything all I in was, one now. Yes, but I was modeling and I'm, and and music just took me away. Yeah. From modeling it took you away. right now, I, maybe I would be in Milan, Paris, somewhere living a yeah. fancy home with a husband and a different life. So you studied business, right? Or was you studied business? That's something that you liked. Yeah. So would you say that obviously helped you with your career and navigating business? True. I mean your your career, right? Facts, yeah. Career. It did. Yeah. Okay. That shows as well. Sorry, that shows as well. Obviously with your boutique, music, yeah, charity work, everything. Yeah, everything. So it's been a useful So for those of you that uh -huh. say don't study business in school, for me it's helps and you can see with the angel itself you do need the business especially when you're going into the entertainment industry mm -hmm. when you contract and then there's something there's some nobody can take it from that either mm -hmm. you can assist it education especially with them business is important especially it's very artists. very important so yeah when i start my i was you know did the modeling doing, doing wait um, wait you did the modeling sorry i don't mean to cut you but you did yeah. mr maker online or something yeah mr like maker that, fashion right? model pageant i okay. entered that in the early 2000s in the early 2000s and i was in the top five my was in the top five yeah, yeah. i okay. want best legs as well best legs yeah. okay and um, Let's see your LinkedIn, right? i think yeah. most congenial because i was like that girl friendly as okay. you know fun yeah. why you just you know, never let the money feel no way about themselves yeah. always always that girl building confidence yeah so when i got in the music professionally let me give you the modeling story before me tell you all the all the music go. Yeah, cause we are going doing my in. modeling. Yeah. And <laughs> doing a New Year Fashion Week all over the place. Mm -hmm. Um, I just came back home for a little bit, you know. When mm -hmm. we are doing, I just, I just weren't around doing my modeling, trying to get signed to a big agency. Yeah. So when I when I came back home now, um, I got introduced to a music group. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. then I started doing music. Okay. <laughs> and so like, that's how you started doing music. You yes. Introduced to a music group. I started. I was doing music from childhood, yeah, but from professionally. Childhood. Yeah. I started doing music in two thousand and one. Okay. Professionally. Yeah. But I, I, the group mash up. Okay. And I can't. I pursued it because Continue. at, at the time. You didn't let that stop you. No, at the time when I when, when I was doing the music, I was still doing the modeling because. The company they were they had a network where I could model and sing at the same time. Oh, okay. So I was so elated for that. But yeah. anyway, it, everything was mash up. What age did you start modeling again, sorry? I started modeling at age nineteen. Oh, age nineteen. Did anyone ever try to take advantage of you in the industry, especially as a no, like that? no, okay, there was, there was thank God, thank yeah. God. Because no. you know the industry, go yeah. No. Thank okay, you, Jesus. Good. Yeah. No. When that part of it, no, where the modeling is, is concerned, where that, that the company that had the group and everything, and I was modeling and singing at the same time. Yeah. When that mash up, I still continued my music because oh, I never okay. want to give up. Yeah. Because, you know, I never want to crash my music yeah. and my modeling at the same time. Yeah. So I said, yeah. So I'm happy to give. Yeah. So I'm just continuing my, my music career, and it has been a journey and a half. But Little did they know that yes, I, I'm that girl and I'm very <laughs> competitive with myself. I do like the confidence that you have though because a lot of people don't have that. You know, because like, for a long you time. Know, like some I've... people don't have that confidence to stand behind their craft and be like, yes, I'm No, me, no, no, right, I, I'm yeah, me that, I'm me yeah. this because I've been doing it a long time. I enter in come, I enter in Pans, music pageant, and yeah. I come second, I enter community the competition, yes, yeah, so this, so this, so, so I've been building up my confidence from them for time. For a long time, yeah. And me, so all the naysayers, you I've been confident air already. already. Yeah. But to, to deal with adversaries in music and challenges and everything that I've been through, yeah. I never prepared for it, but I still handle it with grace and poise. Yeah. And I'm still where I am today. So you talk about like adversaries and different like stuff that you've obviously enjoyed in the industry musically. So let's start with actually dissecting your music career. So how did you start? So you said you was in a group, you left the group. Mm -hmm. What was your first hit the song? The group broke up. The broke up. Um yeah. I continued my career. So Officially, I got my first hit song in 2004. Okay. Living Uptown. I'm living just up. a downtown girl living that uptown oh, life. Yeah. Still a real. Me yeah. independent. You know, I'm here one man life. Yeah. So we climb up me ladder, no for them back bites. Yeah. And I'm on bad can go when we know them other life. So yeah. So play God bless and me believe in a Christ. My first song that. And I wanted to do something that's relatable, something that people can. Yeah. Sorry, le legacy, longevity. So would you say you're a people person? Because I hear you talk about like people a lot. 
No, obviously, absolutely, exactly, yeah. absolutely. I'm a people person. Okay. What I see is what I get. Yeah, just plain and straight. Like just so. like that. Pretty cool. Yeah. So your music career, well, relationships growing up, right? Was that did any like did that ever hinder any type of? When I say growing up, we're not talking about the ones that we know about so far, but like mm -hmm. obviously you're establishing yourself and stuff like that. Was your confidence ever not? Because especially these things going in the industry and trying to navigate that. I even mean, myself, I've been in a relationship and going in a relationship pursuing my career, it can take you down a couple of notches. Do you know what mm -hmm, I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So did that ever happen to you? Because obviously you look good, man, I'll go on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I went to the ultimate in dance hall where at one point i was actually married to dance on yeah we are going to that subsequently yeah. that subsequently ended yeah um and you know i continued you know on my journey yeah so at the end of the day i i got broken before where i hit rock bottom yeah but yet still i rise You're because rise. i'm not going to give up because i haven't reached my finish line i haven't even reached halfway yeah because this industry is a cutthroat industry. Yes. In is. my dance, sad to say, but in dance hall, my industry is what it is. Yeah. You have to fight. And I'm sure in every industry, you have to fight. Yeah. You know, but we don't embrace but our women a lot. dance hall is a different... Yeah, that's even We don't embrace yeah, yeah. our women a lot. Dance hall is very different to a lot of... It's a very... Well, dance hall is Jamaica. We know Jamaica already is very cutthroat, very judgmental. Mm -hmm. And then there's something there. So mm -hmm. even with that being said, you was married to one of the... Well, you was married to one of the big, well, the, the biggest notable figure in dance right now, mm -hmm. Beanie Man, right? Mm -hmm. So, for those of you that don't know, this is Beanie Man's first wife, the angel, ex-wife, first ex-wife. In no more wife. You know, oh, in oh, in no more wife. <laughs> That's what I was going to ask you. Was his first wife? Only wife for love. Only wife, okay. What was that like for you? Actually, no, before that, I heard you was with... Bum. I'm no longer, I'm his ex, but, you yeah. know, I'm the only woman that he has ever married to. Before that, you did there with Bone to Killer, then did left that because I think I saw online, to correct me if I'm wrong, we don't need to go into the details obviously, but I saw online that it wasn't as supportive as you would like and then you departed from that and then you obviously met up with Beanie Man sometime later, right? Mm -hmm. What was that transition like for you? Like obviously with the two men notable, was there ever like a, you know, you know when you're there with one artist and you go back to the next artist? I mean, I'm not the first and I won't be the last, but yeah. it's what you... It's how you come from that situation, right. whatever it is, you know. Right. And it's just relationship, you mm. know, from one moving one. Because people have to move on. Because mm. people, nobody knows us, stuck with nobody forever. Right. You understand? So, so you just you, did that When you've been in a relationship, sometimes it works, so sometimes it doesn't. You have to, you know, move on. So, yeah. um, that's, I, how life so that's how life is. It doesn't matter who I moved on, who yeah. I moved on with. Yeah, so, yeah. So I'm just it's, moving on. And that's the thing we have to yeah, move on. Moving and right along. Yeah. One and more. Hollywood yeah. does it every day. <laughs> yeah. Moving right along. It wasn't one and more, baby. It was a second or something. Oh, is that? Oh, okay. <laughs> Must be a wife with a ring. When I saw in a spear. So then. 100% man, I'm borrow me a share. Okay. Do that. <laughs> so then. Man do that, but women we you man know, do what? I am a second one. Man do man do one and more. Not every man. I am Mr. Miss Seco. Miss not, Miss not, Seco. Not every man. Be a wife around here. Yeah. Me the, me the side chick but you say every man do that, but not every man men. do that. All right, cool, fair enough. But that's a man slang, though. Okay. Yeah. That's a man slang, not a woman slang. I'm a lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know. A lady, I don't know. <laughs> so you did one man, that song, even to this day, can't play. I want, wait, all the other song. I want man, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I want man, we got them yeah. girls to who be yeah. layers. Cool. One man alone, can ride me with them. Yeah. You're not freaking a bit. One might be not sing. Yeah. Your boyfriend said, oh, you're riding. Oh, you're rocking. You're not putting it. 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 You're did that lead you to Beanie Man after? Was you guys working together before or was you in a relationship? Or all that did Work, we worked together before. Yeah, so you were working <laughs> together and then it kind of... And then, it's, of, and then of, you know, it sparks a different interest. Okay. And, you know, when we when, when fight, it's always tell you something. It's when God has planned your life and, a, and a work things out for you. I just God work that out. And yeah. my beautiful son, I, I, I wouldn't trade work before for nothing else. So yeah. God knew what he was doing. I so, know that from that marriage comes, comes Mark again, which... You know, Mark Dean is an amazing child that yeah. everybody loves and adores. Just by looking at him and on social media. We are going to say, we are going too far. We are going too far. Let me talk. Welcome on, guys. The maybe was a full child. Yeah, no, 100%. Yes, he yeah. did. One man working before, he fell in love. He fell in love. He fell in love. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, you fell in love. He, he fell, fell in, in love. love. Okay, him fell in love with first. you. First. Yeah, him said the nice angel. I said, I want to. He fell in love next. first. Yes. Yeah, him fell in love first. And then 
after yeah. you the, fall in on it. Yes. Yeah. Cool. You get married on his birthday, and then there's something there. Was it a conscious decision? Was that something that you wanted? It was something that want? he wanted. Okay. And you just gave so it. The birthday, we'll never forget that. <laughs> <laughs> he chose it, so. Yeah. You know, I thought it would, it would last forever. But sometimes, you know, the good sensation lasts yeah. forever. You, you had know? one of the most highly anticipated weddings as well. I remember, what if people did I try to come out and I jump fence and you change yeah, location you, and then there's something Yeah, tell you, I'm pretty excited. Yeah, pretty so excited. how did you feel on the day with that just, you know, was you nervous at all? Like in terms of, not obviously everyone's going to be nervous to get married, but just in terms of the publicity of the event, because you was No, very... I was just focusing on my wedding. Oh, okay. I don't care. I was focusing okay. on my wedding. I just wanted it to be beautiful. Did and you... It was the most beautiful wedding in the Caribbean. Yeah, it was. Yeah. The white hole. Thing and, I think it's, I, and that will never rub out. So it's like, it's like I'm, not afraid, I'm not afraid to say because a lot of women doesn't get a chance to, to get married so beautifully. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, have a son from it and all of that. Even though, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, a lot of us married girls last night myself, yeah? Yeah. But we, we, we share a, a wonderful son from all of this. From all know? of this, And yeah. that is key. So and anything that big else, wedding, that, that's most important, even even bigger than the wedding to me. And the wedding, the the magnitude of it, did you want it like that? As in, like, yeah. did you want a big one? Yeah. yeah. Was at, it the time, at the at time, at the time, yeah. But I wouldn't want that now. Okay. Why yeah. not? Because I want to do things differently. So if if I'm to get married again, it would not be that, that public. Way. Okay. I don't want it to be private. Okay. Yeah. I have one question for you. I don't know if this might touch. But obviously, you know, Carly, you want to take up. Are, are right now, but mm -hmm. back then, you know, that was his first love. Did you ever feel like there was some type of competition in terms of first love and current marriage? And you know, did you ever feel like that at all? We never that made them thing there. Never, okay. Cool. No, to right, be cool. honest. Yeah, but otherwise, you did seem like very happy in that picture, anyways, until it. Yeah, because at went. the end of the day, remember when when you, when you become a wife, it, whatever else doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, so I've never really had any issue yeah. <laughs> with anybody. <laughs> and then from there, your son came about, right? How long into was that before the marriage or after the marriage? This it was before. It was before. Yeah. Okay. And your son well, graduated. Well, we got married. We got married. Um, I think Marco was seven months. Yeah. Seven months. Well, not girl. I got married in August. Yeah. August, September, October, November. It's like six months. Six, six, six months, seven months ish. Yeah, so it was seven, six, six, seven. Well, we got married. We got married. Why am I pregnant? So oh, you get married. Why did you pregnant? Yeah. yeah, while I was pregnant. Well, so Mark got married, got married in, part, in, 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 in wedlock. You know. Yeah, yeah. You, you got at least you got married to your child's father and stuff. So yeah, so, that, so that's that's beautiful. Yeah. A, a lot of women want that, so at least I did that, and that was one of my wish lists in yeah. my life. Motherhood, I see that's something that you really do pride yourself on. And seeing your social media page, I see that you do try to take effort with your son mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So what is it like raising, I'll call it a celebrity child, because what is it like? Are you fearful at all? Because you know how the industry is before we go into the industry and how mm -hmm. it's obviously treated you. I mean, are you fearful at all? The thing is, I just, I just, mm -hmm. I never try to push him into any of what I do. Yeah. He's just in his own world does he and have he interest his, into the industry at all he's gifted and talented so i'm sure he has to sing one You're day sure he has to, yeah. one because you can bury your talent yeah you know but yeah. I, I i allow him to be himself okay he has the talent um not because it's my son i don't think marco has a voice that mm. is just priceless I, yeah. I, um trust me and i can see when you're not the people that sing i don't uh, marketing just has that voice like yeah. when that voice drop come out it's gonna it's gonna it's just gonna be mm. like Wow. So he has to be ready for that. Okay. Because he might, when you have a talent, you know, it don't go nowhere. Mm. So I'm allowing him to just do what he wants to do. Yeah. And I'm standing by him 100%. Nice. I'm not rushing him for, no, for nothing at all. He will grow in this because when God, when me, maybe particularly he wants him to do, yeah. maybe God has something, has different, something different in store. In and he wants something different. Because now he's doing boxing, which I never foresee in my life because I never liked boxing at all. But your mom might make him know if he's not going to somebody, you know, dance all rough, so. Uh, the Jamaican but he might do it professionally. Okay. So he might do professional. He's doing it professionally. Okay. So I'm not sure if he's gonna compete. Mm. Let's see where that goes. But I'll stand by him with whatever choice he makes. As long as he ha he's happy, I'm happy. Okay. So co-parenting, what's that like? If there's Boy, I'm not gonna touch on everything. No, not everything, but a single mother is different from a single parent. What's the difference? You're, you're, when you're raising your son by your child by yourself without yeah. a man in your life, yeah. as a single mother, mm. single parent is when I, 
the no father maybe yeah. run gone. Yeah. Whatever. Disappear. All the, reason, life, the, reason, the reason why I asked you the single mother question is because obviously you're in, so your career is very prominent as one. Mm -hmm. And obviously that takes up a lot of your time. Mm -hmm. And then also you have to manage having a son as well by yourself. Mm -hmm. So there's exactly. an audience of people out there, and mothers especially, that are hardworking. So what has your journey been like? It might have been rewarding for you knowing that you're going out there and you're, and you're doing a thing for your son and, did it, and mm -hmm. that may I ask. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, I mean, and, and, and you have a right to and people mm -hmm. want to know and this has been a journey. Yeah. Because it's not... So when I, when I see my son graduating and going to prom yeah. and all that, it's just refreshing. And how did you feel you see to... see how hard I worked. It's yeah. just my hard work is just paid off. Like, yeah. I have to wear both caps sometimes. Come and see, say he's your pride and joy. That's what, that's what I'm not asking. We're missing, I'm yes, he is. I asked um, Pinko the other day with, um, obviously, you did a, a nice little video with the prom. prom and stuff like yes. that. Yes. I mean, yeah. watching Mark Dean just mm -hmm. focused and not get it, and not involved with any outside influence yeah. and not being dragged by peer pressure yeah. for a teenage child. And yeah. I know that, you know, a lot of teenage boys are, are going down some different road. Yeah. So, being, I have to be wearing both caps yeah. sometimes, and I I raised a, a young man that's remarkable and very impressionable in everyone's eyes. Yeah. It's just, it's just, it just hard. It just maybe hard, go big. Yeah. I'm like, wow, I did that. Did and you only want one child? Yeah, me alright to the one. Yeah. Me good with one. We don't want no more kids. Uh, they are not have enough fit. <laughs> if, to, to, to each his own, but um, I'm good with my one. To yeah. be honest, to, to be honest, and the fight, the fight, I fight the fight, and um, and you know the blessings are showing, and 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 marketing is testimony of the mother I am. One thing we want to ask you, as a boy, Pitney, right? Has de has dating been hard for you? Date me, me for date like dates. Dating like other men, obviously you you left from. But this or no, and you're trying. The thing is, I've, I've, you know, to put myself out there like, oh, I want to date. I'm yeah. just focusing on myself, working on me, to be honest, because I know having a son, yeah. I don't want to like this. I don't want to expose my son to, 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 to different, different, yeah. Some man that the man that the man. You understand? Yeah. If I meet somebody that makes sense, I will say, we're going to take that next step. Then you'll meet my son. But my son, no more question. dating and having, allowing my son to meet you yeah. and all that will, will happen. And, like, I know men are so. So scared and insecure yeah. with me. Yeah. I don't understand. So what I do? They're more like about the angel, not yeah. Michelle. So it's very hard dating. But dating is not like me some man I least have my problem. You know? well, man I least have my problem. Yeah. Least. 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 I'm working on myself and, and building myself and building my brand and building that. As legacy. an independent woman. Yes. And that's one thing that I always say that Man will of, come. Yeah, regardless. As of somebody my failure. Somebody must come from mash it up. Mash up your dreams, mash up your goals, yeah. tear it down, write it up. Yeah. Not about that life. Not about that life. Not about that life. So you said, obviously, some of them come out the angel, and then would you say that, well, certain man, some of them not take to the pit, right? Would you say that, all right, if a man I look you, right? Yeah. Has he ever been intimidated with the fact that's being a man's son? Like, you know what I mean? Has a man ever felt intimidated that, all right, oh, you're the angel, and then obviously, being a man as somebody with them ever tried, like, have you ever felt like, you know, some man were, were kind of scared for approach a certain way as uh, That's uh, on them, them. If they're afraid, that's their business because I'm not looking a stupid man. Yeah. I'm looking somewhere that's mature and confident. Or would you say that some of them have come back the wrong intentions? Because that can easily happen to... I don't care because I know I spot you from a distance. I have that discernment. You oh. can't come to me stupid. You have to come to me on a level. On a level. And I don't talk it talk it all over. I don't just mix up myself with here. Yeah. yeah. I know. The right person to come along. I don't make myself available to have kind of loose conversations. Yeah. To be honest, I, I just can't do it. And what are you looking for in a relationship? I'm looking for somebody that, first of all, God fearing, respect woman. Yeah. Have a good relationship with your mother. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't rate your mother, you're not going to rate me either. Yeah. A gentleman. Yeah. Somebody that can be that role model to my to, to, to my, my son can I look up to, yeah. you know, as a father figure. You like bad man? You like. No, we don't want a bad man. You say you like diplomat. <laughs> What you me, saying? man, nobody will come beat me, <laughs> kill me. You, know, you say you want a diplomat, you say you want a diplomat? Yes, I do. You do? Of course. You get one yet? No. No? But maybe this program will help me to get one. I People she want, a, she want a diplomat. From England. From England. Europe. I'm going to look one for you. Yes, I yeah. want a diplomat. That will never change. That will never change. No. That's one of. Okay. You know, but it's not have to be diplomats only, but on that level. 
Okay, so. And then man, they fit me. Look how we go. First lady, they said, oh, up that side. Don't they say fit me? Me don't know what, what would that fit you, you know? That fit me. You think so, diplomat? Yeah, of course. Okay. But yes, fit me. Remember, say, you know, at the end of the day, me don't want a man where in a, my world. Yeah. What a man with just, you know. You know chain, it's true though. Who want chains up something I saw? No, it's true. No, was you know different kind of man. Mo, I don't want the man in my industry. Do you want another public relationship? No, as I'm saying, I got married private. Oh, okay. No, I don't want a more public relationship. What is your type? Because at the end of the day, the kind of man we got there with. Okay. The kind of man we got married me is is not gonna be a part of that public thing. He's gonna be happy with what I'm doing. Yeah. But he doesn't want to be. In it. it, okay. So so you want somebody that supports your career, see what I want, feel no type of way. But you are the fear thing, and I respect fear thing. Me is danger upon stage, but Michelle will be there. Yeah, that's your one. Yes. Okay. See there? <laughs> right, they say. They right, say. Do they understand that? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. What is your type in terms of a guy? Features, what you look for, what you, what you want, what you don't want. If it's a eyes, like an attitude. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No DM man, no man in your DM man, nothing like so. Mm -hmm. People don't mind me. In this, I have some Magnum and Red Bull. Yeah. Magnum and Red Bull. Ice, please. Listen, I'm attracting some different things right now in my life. Even the person that I date. Okay. DM. No, man, not DM. I don't so, do DM, man. For your type, I don't, you don't want do, it. I don't do DM, man. Okay. Because you DM everybody. You feel so? And DM can't let me know who you are. Okay. So I don't do DMs. So if I'm a meet up on a pan a DM and say, or link up on a DM and say, yo, Angel, you know, say, wanna get to know you a little bit, me can't take your pan a No, sir, they mean they're thousands, I'm gonna look for that. They mean okay. they're thousands, but I don't look. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna figure out how oh, you're gonna get to me because you can't get to me by DM. Yeah. That's not gonna work. So your type, what kind of man? My you type. Want? Yes. I like a man that's humble. Okay. Yeah, if you don't know him, if you don't know, say, I, you know, is that person you're not going to know just by how he behaves because okay. very humble yeah um i don't like a man that competes you know like competition with me yeah just be you be me i be you okay be, be happy for me and support me yeah. I, I want a very supportive man tall mm -hmm. of course handsome. Yeah, after tall. you you in a date a short man no no okay right oh. no now gonna be my person. Because one time he did say if he, if he was one sharp man, if God did say yes, so 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 you know about the one. No sharp man, man. No sharp man. You can't do that. No sharp man. That don't fit me. All right, cool. Yeah, but yeah. I sickle down with them. I never sickle down with a sharp man. It. Okay. Now like bash him, but be tall. Yeah. You know. Well, only right still. Tall man, more yeah. man, you know, man that fit me. Mm -hmm. So, somebody mature. Okay. Um, uh, that's it. Um, okay. In, term, in, in terms of the. The, 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 the man, ugly man. <laughs> uh, it's a man look like a man. Yeah. You know, I don't want an ugly man. Yeah. You don't have to drop dead hands on, but there's a man who look like a man. That we like dark skin man too. Not black like her, but chocolate. Okay. Dark skin. That kind chocolate, of dark skin. Yeah. Mature. Mature. Yes. Supportive of your career. Sensible, yeah. Nobody will ever be like, have okay. good conversations. And somebody that's fun, humorous. Okay. Not a boring stuff up, man. When me have to pull out, can give you joke and yeah. give you happiness and give you... Make it be win-win, you know? Yeah. Somebody that brings me joy. And also, so like... Laugh, so you know, is it important that he has a good relationship with his son as well? Yeah. As in, like, and that is to him. come. Start with me first. Yeah. You understand? Because if you don't come... Get, if come you, if you're not getting through to me, then you can't even get, get to meet my son. Yeah, yeah, Because you know, yeah. I know what we're looking for, what I'm looking for, and yeah. I know the kind of man that I want around my child. You guys are total package, so you Yeah, like because it. what do you mean? To a man and him go and like say, but come to me, oh, he was so fake. So I just, I was like, this is not going to work for me. What was your worst dating experience, would you say? Have you got one? Me not date a lot. You know, but, as a sleeper slide. So when I want to date you, like, you're not interested. So there's not been a guy who move wrong, like, say, I'm just... Oh. Lie. Lie. I meet men, but lie. Mm. And one, one, basically, I... People just so fake these days, it's just crazy. Yeah. Because so far, it's just it's just ridiculous. So I just kind of really keep myself to myself. Okay. Um, I'm not having sex. I'm not messing around. I'm not doing anything. I'm just keeping my body at that temple. Yeah. I'm waiting for the right person. So right now, he's a virgin. He's a virgin right now. Yeah. As of the new year, all, all, long is a, <laughs> <laughs> all long he's a virgin for now. What, three years below? Three years. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> 
I want she and your She is. I want she and your emergency. All right, wait, hold on. Let's play a quick game. We're frightened of it. Yeah, go ahead. So I want to play a quick game of snug, marry, and avoid. So I'm going to give you three names, and you choose who you want to kiss, marry, or avoid. Yeah? All right, cool. Valiant, massacre, or popcorn? Snug, marry, or avoid? Avoid. Which one? Avoid, actually. Kick your avoid, actually. We don't want no more artists. <laughs> no, it's just a game. You have to pick one where you have a snug, marry, or avoid. Which one would I take? Which one would I marry? Which one would I avoid? You have to pick one. Valiant, massacre, or popcorn? Which one would I take? Yeah, which one would you just kiss, marry, or avoid? You have to pick, you have to give each one a category. So, ma Valiant, massacre, and popcorn. Call, call them one by one. Valiant, snug, marry, or avoid? Avoid. Avoid. Valiant has avoid. Massacre, and popcorn. You're going to snug or marry? Kiss or marry? Shit. <laughs> but apertures? What yeah. are they? Yeah, apertures, what are they? She can't give me something different. Now you the next one. Just God. Hmm. So Alright then, make this massacre and marry Papa. Alright, so avoid, avoid avoid Valiant. Yes. Kiss Massacre. Yeah. And marry Popcorn. Yes. Alright, cool. What about Vibes Cartel, <laughs> Dexadaps or Sean Paul? <laughs> what a ass. Alright. <laughs> Vibes cool. Cartel, Dexadaps, Sean Paul. Vibes you know, we do something together. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I avoid vibes content. Okay. Avoid vibes content. I'm going to marry Dexter Daps and I'm going to kiss Sean Paul. Okay, why are you going to marry Dexter Daps and kiss Sean Paul? <laughs> I'm going to marry already. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to you already know that. No, but you should have used the same Sean Paul because you would have more who money. Who are you? Somebody said to me, I don't even know. Like, yeah. one different person, though. Like, no, you should have said Sean Parker, he have international money. So, you know, so if you divorce him, you're going to get half of that now. We Dexter know, Dabs. but, yo, we don't even know. But to right. say you fuck Dexter Dabs, because you know, say, I'm singing about that already, and then something. You know what I'm saying? You know what you know, I think so? Dexter, because, I don't know. Well, you don't say it already. So, she don't say she got a avoid vibes cartel, kiss, no, marry Dexter Dabs. No, no, I'm marry Dexter. You're not marry? No. No. <laughs> It changed my mind. We are married now. Shall part. You are married now. It's a better marriage. You can't better marry Dexter. It seems, it seems very wild. You see you wild. And you know why that the man there for a man. Oh. Okay, cool. The other thing wasn't for me, though, you know. This wasn't for me. It's just an answer because it's... No, it's just it's, a game. It's, it's, it's a just a game. But yeah. it wasn't for me. It's just a game. Okay, cool. So, we did that now. Going into dance, like, going back into dance now, quickly. You see, said that, like, obviously, throughout the career, I would say that from your past relationships, certain mm -hmm. times people have given you a hard time in your career. Mm -hmm. Would you say, what was the time like after leaving Beanie Man? Because I know that there was a lot of, sometimes you got a lot of backlash, but you was very resilient. And that's one thing I want to actually commend you on before we even go into Thank that. Thank you. Yeah, I want to give into the fact, I actually want to compliment her for the fact that she's actually been very resilient over the years. No matter what people say, she keep going and she always come up with something new. You're a trying woman. And that's what yeah, I like. Yeah, let me be telling you. Yeah, you're very trying and you're very, you're very hard <laughs> working. And I yeah, and even when we, we watched one of your performances this morning and you did a walk down, I think you was on a stage and the way you walked down the stage you, and your mother didn't catch I mean, you run this man. I mean, you run this. And her stage performance and stuff like that. One thing I say when it comes to her music, I'm not like all time the angel. Obviously, we're not talking about no, no worries the angel. We're yeah. talking about the, 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 the stage performer the angel. She yeah. can't really fuck up a stage. She yeah. can't really go Anytime. on. Anytime. I'm going to fuck up a stage. Yeah. I'm going to fuck up a stage. 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 i am going to so from leaving Minion Man, as you said, people been giving you a hard time in your career. How has that affected you? Then I must do what I'm People have to move on and get on with their life. And I mean, it's when you look at situations, you have to look at we are all, everybody, everybody, you are human. Sometimes yeah. things last, sometimes it don't last. Right. Yeah. So I mean, people have their own idea of what's what's what and what is not. It's and not even that what's what, but like I know that 
Well, you have some really die-hard Beanie Man fans. Would you say that, you know, obviously recovery, you know when you leave a relationship, you're in a heartbreak, you're trying to find yourself again, you're trying to move on and do your thing, I don't know how hard that affects you. When I say mm -hmm. it, you did really don't nice swamps or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. But navigating the career, there's a lot of people that respect him. Was your career at all affected by that breakup? Yeah. In what way? Every way. In every way. People yeah. did try to refrain from working with you and then Everything. Okay. So I had to fight. It's always been a fight for me. It's yeah. always been a fight. I had to fight, 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 fight for everything because I'm not going to... But when you're no, chosen I'm by God, you're not going to bow, I'm not going to sell out, I'm not going to yeah. sell my soul. And I said to myself, and I'll cut with the way. I fight. Yeah. And I use my music, I use my talent, and I use my gift. So it doesn't matter what was alleged or what was said or whatever. All women can relate to obstacles in marriage, obstacles yeah. in relationship, obstacles in every damn thing. I'm not the first, I won't be the last, but it's how you rise, it's how you come out of it. Yeah. That makes me who I am today. Yeah. You understand what I said? I am the angel, and yeah. I have my own name, yeah. and I have my own place. I'm not riding off nobody's back. Yeah. I have my own identity, and that's a fact. Did you ever feel like giving up at a particular point? Never, I feel like going more. Really? I feel like going harder. The more you come at me, the more I, I, I want to go harder. The reason why I ask... My wish is to perform with being a bunch on a stage. That's my wish, that's my dream. Well, I, I would love for that. Promoters, do it. Do the right thing. I would love to share a stage with both. Yeah. Both men that I. Well, I presume that you guys left off on good terms because I even see that even after the um, you know. Men the don't breakup, have us people just think think that we have something happening. Yeah, because like you only do stage performances together, so yeah. it, it seems cordial. Like, but like, my you know, wish is for me to perform with both of them on the stage at once. I would love for to be booked. That would be a sold out so, concert anywhere in the world. So, it would be sold out. So, so more ask this one, right? So, as the art guy, man, you pull like two. You know, yeah. What did it feel in a in a in a in a in a fight with, with the two man, the fan stage, you know, Bonte and Gina, and your name a call, and then there's something. What did it feel? Next question. Okay, next question. A people they want to eat me. No, <laughs> I know that you know. People they want to eat me. No, I know that you know. No, Every day but... they begin to ask us over the art gallery. We care about that. The art gallery, we care about that. You could have just said, you know, pay it no mind. It, and you just watch it from the side. I really don't want. I don't want. I mean, men will be men. Yeah. And it's because, just, it's yeah. because I'm a public figure. People just want to say whatever, do whatever. But men always fuss about women. I'm not the first, I'm right. the last. But mm. you have a good to get that. Some people love to say, oh, they ain't just still a keep. And then there's something that's very, very, Always a keep. Mm -hmm. Ah, 100%. You so see, the fight where you get now, right? You say it, it, you haven't felt like giving up. It makes you push harder. Yeah. Why? Because it, that's my dream. You can't have nobody take away that from you. Yeah. If you have a dream, if you have a dream and a gift, I used to do more, well, I never retired the model, but music snatched me, snatched me away from modeling. Mm. So why should I like, lose everything? Because you know, of that, I never yeah. pursued my modeling career and could be one of the biggest models in the world, stage. Yeah. I can't. I I did music. I chose music somewhat because no, I'm deep, I'm I'm ready to model the world. I'm ready to be signed. I'm ready to do, do your thing. fashion shows. I'm ready to endorse mm -hmm. different brands out there or anything because I'm still I still got it. Yeah. So yeah. I couldn't just give up on my dream. Who who does that? Yeah. KFC at seventy five. That's when he discovered KFC. Yeah. I mean, why would I give up? You still have it tonight, like with you. I because of people and naysayers. Are you crazy? Yeah. They have, they, maybe some of them don't have a dream. They don't so, have a talent. They don't have a gift. They just sit down and want people to give up their own dream. Did you feel to, like to your please career? Them? Did you feel like your career got stagnant? Stagnant at a particular point after that? My, my career has never been stagnant. No, not stagnant as in. I mean, I talk about like you know your. Meaning like I've point, always like, had hit songs. Always had hit songs. Okay. Every year, two three hit songs yeah. every year, and many songs throughout the year, but. We always at it. We never, we can name out, we can name out 20 years of hit songs. We never drop off. We know you have to hit them now, so. Yeah. Yeah. We know never you have drop off. But what about like stage performances and stuff like that? Do you ever find that some people no book your because are certain reasons? Yeah. You know, pass yeah, I would, I would say that. But yeah. when your talent supersedes that, they're going to have no choice. And them time they, you won't be able to pay me. Yeah. So figure yeah. it out what you what you want what because you if want, you yeah. go around you know and then when you come back around then the cost going up and then yeah that's what all you have you... to do to work with the cost because i'm i'm a, I'm a value i'm a you know me a value yeah so if you miss the angel then you get the angel no never pay but the angel and the angel again even the angel in the future has more experience than the angel in the past the price of course exactly so you're going to trouble yeah so your business that so i'm a nan then feel hungry <laughs> you understand <laughs> Well, yeah. you're multi-talented, you're candid for hungry, though. No, I'm multi-talented, so I'm yeah. candid for hungry. So, you book me for your event, you lose out, not me. 
True. I am that fire. Yeah. On she likes any show. To go at on any show. Yeah. So if you if you book me, you miss out. Yeah. Because sometimes it's some lineup, me wonder what is. <laughs> it's just a truth. So obviously the condition of like dance and or like, well your fight that you've gotten in your career and stuff like that. The reason why I keep mentioning the fight is because you actually still stand here today. And you, look overcome? Very, you look very unbothered very, and stuff like that. And it looks very. and it's a good look because mm -hmm. you said you're not stressed out by nothing, right? Mad. Especially when it comes to the other females in the industry. I know that's been like an ongoing battle for you. What has it been like navigating the industry with other females? What is what like what has that been like? Those females in this industry, I think they are not supportive. I think they are just trying to hang on and other person's relationship yeah. and trying to be those people friends as opposed to mine i think yeah so how i came in the industry and how i got my d angel fame in music and my so my association i, I think mm -hmm. they never want to show me that solidarity because they made me think that oh if you support her then we're going to lose a person the front yeah yeah they so look or click them so with them, with them. Fight on my own yeah, them little click them with them having a, in a, in a, the, the, yeah. the industry. Yeah. If something go wrong with one person, then the next is a yeah. problem. And so it was like the angel against the world. And I was okay with that. I mean, I beg the friend from nobody. But support is support in terms of females because most females go through the same things. Would you say you're supportive of other females in the industry? 100%. Oh. That's because done right there. And yeah, that, that may yeah. And I every female, me and every female artist good. Yeah. From the pamphletes to the stage. Well, the you did a video the other day. I mean, this is a yeah, everybody in good. And pamphlete in there and then there's something. Yes. And, and, and you know what I mean? Yes, yes. And that's what I do like. You know what I'm saying? Especially with the song. Not this, the song name, not the same. Not the same, yes. It's a trend and I go on And that this song like all time, you have an all time the angel feel in a yeah, yeah, yeah. like oh yeah, yeah. It, 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 it <laughs> You know, Man, like, not, the the song, give a not the same. Not the same. Just yeah. go and check out. Not the same. Not the same. So, what you got? Not the same. It's fresh, but it can get a hold. It got viral. So, just check out the song. Yeah. Not the same. So, not the same. We know. On my Vivo channel, The Angel Vivo. Not the same. Stream it. Make sure you say subscribe, like, and share. Yeah. Not the same. That's and so. <laughs> so, not the same. We know what I go on recently, right? And as a first lady, more and get your opinion, right? Mm -hmm. From the year start, you know, so there's been a lot of conflicts going on. You've had your own. Mm -hmm. Your song, not the same. Mm -hmm. You know, so Spice come out and do I look home. Right? Mm -hmm. Did you feel like anything was targeted, targeted at you anyway? Because no, say, say people from the media, I feel like say fear song mm -hmm. directed at Spice. That's what they think, and they just chat too much. Well. And just love gossip and mix up. Yeah. And just love to take things and good. And let me tell you, social, um, the media, um, all that internet thing, you can't get caught up in that. Yeah, because yeah. Because yeah, they are yeah. designed to create feuds. Feuds, exactly. Yeah. So I'm not a, I'm not. A, a, but I'm do not you a see how the song might have like could trigger? The song is a song yeah. because I, I'm what, scrolling on yeah. internet. I'm scrolling on internet. Used to be like as a matter one number one. So it's like we have, we have, we have talk. Yeah, talk about as an artist should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be creative as yeah. an artist. And the day that when you're not creative, but you're sit down. Yeah. So if they want to take my song and say whatever, whatever whoever is geared to, what whoever is not. Yeah. Whoever. Nobody can come for me. Can nobody have a secret for me? And so who so can't come for me? And with that being said, I'm not trying to insight mix up, but obviously the first lady, the queen of dance hall, link up. At that moment, there was a break where obviously we saw a little, but then Ona did come back again, mm -hmm. right? And all was that re reconciliation for you at that moment. But here, Ona did see all that did go. It was great. I mean, yeah. it's all over social media. It was great for the, for the yeah. sake of music and entertainment and positivity. Yeah. You understand? I mean, in this, I, I think mean, that was important. I mean, no, Baga Baga with a soul. Yeah. And of course, we eight, nine, ten days for social media with a soul. Yeah. I've never been that woman. Yeah. I've and never actually seen that either. And, you know, um, I, I, I stood my ground in music and that's what it is. And I'm about unity and I'm about strength. Yeah. And that is what it is. So I want to link up back again for say, yeah, we're cool. Yeah, man. Oh, no, yeah, owner, did, owner did link up. Oh, at the award ceremony. Okay. At, at, at Iron Man Awards, I was um, the interviewer. I was the interviewer on the red carpet. Yeah. Celebrity host on the red carpet. Celebrity host. She came on and I interviewed her. Okay. And let me know. We're all humans. So, at the end of the day, did you guys perform so together? Wait, but this is a woman perform together. We perform together. We go fair, then, out of crowd. Yeah. And I got to say, yo, at least we depend on music. Yeah. So you really say, I will approach who? All that did go. I mean, she just came and yeah. I interviewed her. She came up to me. 
basically she was she was there waiting to get her turn on the red carpet. Yeah. They thought that she was going to be I was being interviewed. Yeah. Little, little does she know that I'm the interviewer. I mean I interviewed her, but she didn't know. Oh. When she okay. walked on though, I was like, and she was she was telling the producer, after the angel, I'll come. But yeah. I heard her and I was like, listen, it's me I interview you. Oh, so you draw for the piece? Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that. So, I'm gonna start, so I'm gonna start worrying that I'm me seven other words. Yeah. All right, I like now, that. We know no worries. I deal with everything. Yeah. The people just love to draw things and make it seem that what is that. Okay. You understand? So, what is the I difference? You initiated it. You initiated yeah. it. And then, obviously, from then, everything's been cool. You just let yeah. it go. Bygones with bygones. Yeah. That's all right. Then. I don't do malice, I, and it shows. Cause once you see the, my energy, my aura, or my look, I don't do bad energy. So what do you and think? Nobody can draw me night, and the media, social media, naysayers, you go up to chat and just sit down and have a job list and have nothing for you. Them can't call me and make me. But don't you feel like you could be the peacemaker, somebody that's been like, you know, I'm not saying that's your I'm job. I'm always, but it's a, but, but it, it makes sense when it's needed. Now okay. when people are chat, because when they want them, if you're not doing something good, nobody talks about you. Right, I right. can't pay nobody to not talk about me. Yeah. I can't pay anybody to talk about me. So when you talk about me, me just keep relevant and them will understand that. So me the care about who will chat about me. Me not, me not try to fight a battle. Yeah. That battle has always been won. Do you feel like there could be unity in dance over the females? Do you think that's possible? That's all hard. To be honest, it's a high. But what what I'm doing is making a difference with my journey. Yeah. You know, so everybody have their own journey. That's what I wanted to so ask. I'm just because... trying to make a difference with my journey. Yeah. And what difference are you trying to make with your journey? Empowering, always females, empowerment, empowerment. And I did it with Queenie. I did double tap with Queenie. Yeah. I went on the remix. I did it with her. I did no words with Spice. I know Kizzy Dan. I'm working with Kizzy Dan as well, trying to just bring her up. And I see that she's a talent. She's yeah. naturally, she naturally has it. And yeah. With this kiss it down, why, why me know, why me see, in which way kiss it down has the full potential, she, she's hungry for it. Yeah. She really, really yeah. needs it. She reminds me so much of myself. Yeah. From the beginning, grew up with nothing, and we want to find, do something with your life. Yeah. So she, she, she represents all of that. And with this her past, I found this stage, she with me. Okay. Because if you're the bad past stage, yeah, you're, you're not, ready. You're not, yeah. And you're so when she she have it, stage, you know, yeah. I just say, kiss it down. Yeah. Say I don't, you don't. Yeah. They say I want to kiss it down, you don't. They say I don't, you don't. So, so you've so, been doing our shows here, there, everywhere. So it's like, listen. Uh, what's the difference? If the edge and, and kiss it down, don't they play a show right now? They show not acting. I ask, what's all the good enough? What's the good plus bad? Talented. No, one or two. Mm, but, but, no, I never know how talented kiss it is. I watch her shape. Yeah. I watch my long legs. Well, honestly speaking, Mr. Kissy from Minnonaut. Kizzy good as an artist, and I'm going to speak it blatantly. I don't know her good as an artist yet, yeah, man. but Mrs. C as a figure, public figure, right. and, and, and content creator. Right. From that, Mrs. C, she good. Right. She yeah, man. Something else, eh? she so I would like to see her, what she develops furthermore into her career right. and stuff like that. Right. But more I'll ask, you know, so obviously we have D'Angel and then we have Michelle. What's the difference between the two? D'Angel is the entertainer, the artist, the public figure. Michelle is the mother. Simple. Simple. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when the angel done, when when is the when, when would you say is the angel's time, and when would you say is when Michelle's we got my door? Okay, when we got my door, I'm pulling. Yeah, and Michelle coming in the house, and my son understands that. Yeah, me nice, then I'm in house, the excitement, me now perform for no mic. Yeah, me now run up and down. You understand what I'm saying? We now carry on. Yeah. it's just a peace okay. at home. That's my that, that's my haven. Yeah, you know. So when I'm when I part, when I get home, the angel money yeah. are gone. Okay. So like wings, the shit out the wings. Yeah, and just, and just the take shit. in and just do for your thing. Yeah. What would you say is your key way to kind of like relax and recuperate? And especially like you know when social media can really like do a number, and with me, I find it important to take breaks. So how do you? What is your coping mechanisms, and yeah. how do you get yourself back there? Because that's why. That's why you know what I don't. I know the social media people gonna feel like I lie me and tell, but it's just the truth. Okay. And no matter what's happening, I'm not going to click on it. I I I will, but I click off. Okay. I can't sit down and watch right. so much talking and so much gossip yes, and so yeah. much drama and so much yelling and screaming. I just you, your combo. Excitement. Yeah. No, I can't. I just really focus on what makes my energy preserved. Yeah. And I'm a God fearing person. Yeah. So I go to God a lot. Every morning, I kind of do like a praise and worship before yeah, I start my day. Like that, yeah. Not Same. social media. I yeah. do my praise and worship first. And before yeah. me even talk to my mother or my family or whatever, I try to inject God in that first yeah. before I start my day because I know the enemies are out there. Yeah. And I don't want to see nobody. That's the same thing with me too. I yeah. always get up every morning. I can't like spend an hour 
and I watch her look a sermon because with me, I realize that the entertainment industry, talk about myself, the entertainment industry is very like harsh corrupt. and corrupt. Mm -hmm. And if you know how I work with God, <laughs> your mind cheap couple time and three time and four time. Mm -hmm. you know, what God beside you, you're real. Yeah, you're going in a saying? problem. You're going in a you're problem. So you're up Kind of, if you live your life in your phone, if you notice, my phone they own something. Mm -hmm. a bit like some people say it's a red flag. I know that, I know nobody may I try it. It's just when I'm in, I like to be present. And sometimes mm -hmm. social media takes you away from reality, mm -hmm. and sometimes social media gets into your head, right? Mm -hmm. But more as you're ask, human, so you have to know what you're doing. Yeah. So I want to ask you now, the OnlyFans, right? Car. Obviously, that's something where you're the online. What was the mm -hmm. where them's art? You did it. Let me phrase it. Probably. But they have to survive, you know. But the after survival, I'm never dead for hunger, my son dead for hunger. So survival, that was a survival mode. Okay. Um, we call it COVID. Yeah. Shut down. No judgment, by the way. Men, men, they're for just yeah, no. I know, yes. I know, I know, I know that me I do. But go on. COVID, everywhere shut down, everything shut down. Survival. Yeah. Because me never died for hungry, I met my son dead for hungry, I met yeah. my family dead for hungry. So I see where I could capitalize and I did yeah, just, just that. Did your thing. That is no more anyway. Yeah. It's no more. <laughs> How much did you charge at the time? <laughs> you live over there? No. Over if you live over there, that's not your business. <laughs> All right, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. If I didn't wish them for the go over there, because they're still bad. <laughs> <laughs> if you're virtual and being sexy and getting paid, that's commendable. Yeah. Can they buy you not touch me? Yeah. You want some water? You want some water? Please. So, I do not know woman hustle. I don't because no. survival. Would you? All right, you received a lot of crit criticism for and that. I don't though. care. I make money at the same time. What? Okay, but I think you just answered the question I was going <laughs> to ask. You are criticized. You are criticized that I make money. I don't buy this life. That yeah. I don't have to buy this life. Yeah. Make here. All right. The only reason why I ask you so is because obviously you're pride. Like, and then man over there. Let <laughs> me forget. Get a life, yeah. Um, get a life. Oh, I want some eyes as well. I oh, yeah, that's a, uh, get a life, yeah. What people does, I, it's not my business. People are so concerned with other people, with my business. Right. And like, who oh, another business? But did you understand why they had questions, though? Eh? Did you understand why they had questions? Like, but what? did you question me? No, I'm I, a born big woman. No, I know that, though. But remember, I said, for, for some people, I, especially the big woman, they use the angel. You get what I'm saying? I understand, so I but them, them now pay my bills. No, me, me could have got to them and said, the angel pay my bills them this month, please. <laughs> They now look at me. Grad Del Fiong if you all them cares. <laughs> me don't want nobody have the expectation expectations of me because at the end of the day. Say it louder. Listen, I, I know I, I'm a mother and yeah. at the end of the day I have to figure out how I'm how I'm gonna yeah. survive and, and make my son survive. So and nobody should have me, expectations of you. Nobody because... don't have the expectations of me because my mother birthed me. Okay, and it's your life. Okay, and it's okay. my life. Go live yours. Okay. Excuse me. But one question I ask. And then they pay my bills because I go to them go say, I mean, I'm the angels that pay my bills this, this month. They would have been definitely hungry. But fans, your fans, you, I, I, I definitely have to honor and respect my fans. Right. You understand? But they, they, they eventually got it. They got because it. Because yeah. whatever movement me make, and sometimes the fans may be alarmed. Because the reason why I they, ask you so is. Because in some interviews, like I've seen before, obviously, we say about classiness and dance, that everyone knows that. You're that lady, so yeah. you understand why it was a bit of a shock. I know, but we never did that ungodly, are wicked, are evil. Yeah, what? Yeah, no. We never did that you're born, so you go back, so. Yeah. Well, like, okay, we don't want to ask you. It's a lot of things happened over there where I was, trust me, they would never leave me to prosper. They, yeah. they took down stuff and they changed things up. They photoshopped stuff. They do a lot of stuff. Nobody ever see my front yet. They photoshopped that shit. Oh. So I'm just saying. Okay. So yeah, that things were I know fear there. front. A lot of things that was out there wasn't me. On the tone, no. Things. She just tried to make the money. Because they wanted to bring me down. Because they told to do the most. So yeah. I had to just deal with my family with that. Now, Uno, I was yeah. never do a shit anyway. So it was a private conversation. She didn't have to do what she had to do. She had to have a picnic. Only nine man had a picnic. So I had to deal with that. Only nine man had a career. So she, she had to do what she had to do. I had to deal with that. I had to deal. When they tried yeah. to tell me, they had to deal with I showed them that like, I'm still here, bitches. Yeah. I'm still here. But that goes to show how versatile oh. it is, though. You, 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 you really, you really, you really. They do everything to destroy me. I'm still, yeah. I keep my circle very small. I keep my energy very energized. I keep my energy. I, I don't allow anybody to get in my energy because that they want. Because so, I'm just scabies I run off from the airport and center. Literal scabies. And what I do, I just keep yeah. my energy. See yourself and protect Because they, 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 if they walk a day in my shoes, yeah. they, they could have get up. 
Yeah. The tomb, bro. That's how I walk in heels anyway. Yeah. Six inches. Well, show them. Bitches. Six inches. Yeah. I'm walking in heels, but it's not walking in my shoes. I actually love the exerting confidence. I like don't know. It's, it's very, yeah. It's we're confident very... everywhere. past stage, off stage, everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere we're confident. Now, I want to talk about the stage performances now. War Angel. Where did that come from? Wow, you have, to, you have to draw out that. War Angel. I have to draw out that. Yes. That came December. It's Sting. Mm. I Sting the call for that. Sting, you didn't go on. I had to bat up Sting. You go on. I had to bat Sting. up Mr. Yeah. Lang, bat up the organization, bat up everything. I made them know some day. Sting, no one Sting, no. Yeah, I'm going to sing soon. So I had to I'm Sting. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> and some chicken, they run up. I said, I'm going to send them in. Yeah. Who run up on you? What if I run up on me? <laughs> Crazy. Them carry on that done. So. What if I run up on me? We go up on stage with fire. Them couldn't come there. War Angel, that's something new? It's a Monica, one of my Monicas. Okay. You have to draw me or forget it. <coughs> it can't just happen now. It can't yeah. happen now, right now. You have to switch up on me? No, it can't yeah. cool. <laughs> it's cool. It's not the wrong thing. It can't happen anytime. Yeah. What would you. Well, Ninja Man. Was that your teeth? Like, me, this is something pan like. Ninja Man been a teach for a long time. Is it? Been a teach for man. Me have it, man. Me have it, man. Yeah. We, can't come, we come from Ninja School, the Great Bounty School, the Great Venus School. So, yeah. they can't manage me. But yeah. it's easy. Come on, no need faith. She got your ninja bounty and uh, 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 being it. That's Wally Patrick. That, that's that's. I that's, learn a lot. Yeah, I learn a that's, lot. That's, so that's a good. You can't be around icons like those and learning. Yeah, I, I know. Take away nothing. Yeah. So what, I just they, they saw what I have with me in December as a war angel. So they know that side there already. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I said that was something I will pearl on me, but it's, it's here. Every artist with their creative space. And giving you music and entertainment, that's what the fans should care about. That people's personal life and the decisions they make. Uh, what do you know? Their, what do you know what? Personal self. I actually quite frankly agree. So and that know? is a boundary that we do have to, us yes. as, as public figures do have to learn how to separate. But I think with the fans is that, I think they get over invested in things sometimes. And mm -hmm. they feel like they're old and expensive. With me alone. Yeah. I'm me alone because nobody is messing their business with no matter what, no matter what happen, good, bad, or indifference, when, when them artists are going to perform or entertain or them, but, they, they must want music from them. But do you understand why people would have more something to say about you rather than because the reason why I say that they would is because you're not just an artist, right? Mm. You are, you're multifaceted. I know. So that gives people more of a personal connection to your brand. So that's why people have more of an opinion when it comes to your brand. Because you're not just stick, stuck in that one place. So I understand you go that. You in the streets and people love you for this and that. And, and they, they will forever really love you. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you can understand why I say, remember, like the first, like you really live up to your first lady title. That yeah, 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 yeah. You really do it. Like, you, you <laughs> yeah, might I understand. Think, you do live up to the first lady. I understand. If you're trying to do that or not, mm -hmm. you go to the street, you advocate, you do your charity work, but nobody at I like that. So you did Father's Day or was the other day and then there's something there. Nobody know how to talk about that. You then, are you do, yeah, but you do out your But what they talk about is want something negative in their eyes, deep negative. That's what they run with. They run with good things I'm doing. Yeah. That's why I, I, I don't deal with social media and people's opinion or thoughts of me. Because I'm doing so much great things, you know, focus on that. But one little thing where you think negative and I fear you, yeah, it's your one run with it. So, so before, nah, I'm not going to in that. One thing I do want to ask you, though, is how do you stay positive in such a negative industry? Because dance art is very negative at the moment. How do you stay positive in such times and yeah. also waiting for times to change? I just focus on myself. Honestly, it's my life and my journey. I just focus on myself and how to make a dollar tomorrow. We don't focus on nobody else. Nobody else. I just really focus on myself. I want to ask you, what's a memorable moment in your career? So much. God, God, just, just give so me like much. two big highlights where you say, I me really do this to blow out not like I really me do this. I really the angel. Just overcoming. Overcoming. Just, 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 just the ability to overcome when I sound stronger. Okay. That was the biggest highlight in my career. And I got signed to several oh, What do you entities. mean overcoming? Um, before, I, before I sang stronger, I was going through the weakest time in my career. I was lied on in my marriage. I was oh, criticized okay. by people because of that. Yeah. I was judged. I was mocked. I was jeered. I was blocked out of everything. What I wear. I was left to suffer and die. And with my son by myself, and um, I rise from it, and stronger got me there. So yeah. I must say, I don't care about what nobody wants to say about me because it has been a journey for the angel, and his music saved me. Yeah. So, me, me now come out of it, me I continue to sing as long as I live. Yeah. And nobody can erase my space. Because even earlier, I heard somebody saying, 
on the uh, on the net. She just came to my phone. Mm. She don't know she a what. If she a mother, if she a artist, if she a philanthropist, she can't feel. She don't know. And I want to tell you something. I am all the above. Yeah. I'm a mother. I yes, I'm a philanthropist. Yeah. Yes, yes. I am a model. Yes, yes. I am all that. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I wear many caps. Yes. Yes. Go and find a cap for yourself. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. And, and wear it well. Go on I yourself. Wear, I like I wear that. all of mine very well. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, where would you like to see the industry go? What do you plan to bring to the industry next? I'm bringing me, as always, um, and just more music. Yeah. Positive energy, positive light. Yeah. And just preparing just to just shed some light all over the world because the world needs this kind of energy, music, um, dance or reggae we, you know this this is a big brand and, and everybody has to carry that legacy oh they want to be represented i want to ask you how do you feel like you're building a legacy at the moment i, I think i'm doing a great job i think i'm i don't i'm i'm, I'm working on my album you know so i can do an a, album. A body of work yeah yeah so i, I just think i'm that. amidst the challenges i i think that i've i've done a great job myself without a manager you're not a manager? Never had one. Okay. Yeah, I think because I'm, I'm not a quitter, I'll yeah. never give up. Yeah. And my son can attest to that that, okay, my mommy never come bro. My mom never give up. Yeah. If I'm having a bad day, my son don't know because yeah. I fight. You know, but, I fight for him and I fight to the end. That's why I don't, cause nobody can push me down. Nobody. That's admirable, but don't you feel like it's good, it's important to, like, for your child to see in vulnerable moments sometimes to kind of like know, say, I saw. I mean, I. I just don't break. I just don't want to break in front of him. I want him to understand that life is sometimes it, it, the challenges are there. Yeah. Never give up. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. So I, I just never want to come in front of my son. Yeah. Just you never feel want like to. There's do. something that yeah. You just I, just, want. I just personally never want to do. You want to be the strong backbone. I just want because I'm the strength. So yeah. when he sees, I mean, there are moments, but I just I just try to stand tall in every situation and encourage him to do the same. No matter what comes your way and yeah. something that I have to be doing as a mother, encouraging, no matter what comes your way, stand tall, you know, go for it. And he is, my, my son is confident and he's, he, he's, he's that, he's that yeah. person. Everybody loves Marco because he's that person, you know. Yeah. He, he's that, you know, he has that indomitable spirit yeah. that's nobody can bring. And I want to say well as, done as well because obviously people know my story. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know how you deal with this on behind the scenes, but I just want to say from what we've seen, but they didn't see me. Yeah, from what we see. I even better car people say, well, she's smiling me, she does. Yeah. But that's me. What people are seen? always impressed when they come around to see how great I am as a yeah. parent. Man, that's how my mother treat me. No, because that's why I want to commend you on, because like from what I've seen, as like I'm saying, people, I don't know how it is behind the scenes, but it's good that you don't leave all this and regardless of what you do, you make sure you, 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 you know, and you make sure you spend your time and you mm -hmm. teach him certain things and stuff like that. He's first. Of, yeah. He's first. No matter what may I go, no matter what I travel. He's first. Where's Milana? He must be reaching him. I play in a Marco. I'm up for Marco from day one till now. Yeah. I don't want Marco to just get a good life. I want I ask God to preserve And do you feel like me. you have to be that extra protector just because of what's behind him in terms of legacy and what? You feel like you have the extra, like, you know? You I, I, like I, I protect him because he's my son and, and that's what a mother should do. Okay, fair enough. Aside from all of that, that's, that's mm, a good It's about a legacy. Yeah. I know. I protect my son. Sure. And my son is smart. Smart. And him get a, him have a good, you know, schooling, he's schooling, he's solid education. And my, he's, I'm there with him, but I'm teaching him to stand on his own sometimes if mommy's not alone or whatever. But God, you got to keep me. God, I'm keep me. I'm keep me. I'm ask God to keep me and uh, until my son. What I want you to do is send Pass the worst. You know what I'm saying? Send a message out there to the mothers then. What kind of message? Can, I can send several. Hard, like the, woman, the mothers that might be having a hard time. Cause you know it got probably. It's only with the boys, man. Yeah. Listen, at the end of the day, you have to grow your children the way you want them to be. You know? And sometimes I know kids will get out, but thank God that Marco Lee never had. I, I never had a challenge with him. Marco has no outside influence. Yeah. He don't have no peer pressure influence. He just go school and home. Yeah. So that's how I raise him. That's how I raise him. I just raise him like that. He don't go nowhere. Marco is damn yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, I'm out him. Right now, like no, they're going out, you know, different little stuff with him and his circle, and so just keep him really yeah. grounded. Yeah. You know, I don't have him all over the place. I go yes and this and that. Marco is not that person, so you have to, yeah, you have to know what your children are doing. You have to be there with them. You have to know 
they kind of left them up and said, well, I'm going to work, I'm going to provide for them. You have to still do that, but still know what your children are doing because my mom knew everything that I am doing, you don't even know. Yeah. And what about a word of encouragement? A lot yeah. of women um, are fighting, especially single mothers. So for the single mothers, I wanted to say just press on because I did it. Yeah. I'm RK17. Yeah. It has been a journey. Yeah. But just do what you have to do. Not care what anybody wants to say. Because yeah. at the end of the day, if your children are hungry and need of anything, they're not going to give you. So don't block, block out whatever. If a man don't want help, block him out too. You understand? Yeah. Because these men, that's all they are. And they sometimes they leave you by yourself, in most cases, to fend for your own with their kidney. Mm -hmm. When you expect a great life with a man, they are very disappointing, most of them. So make sure that you build up yourself. Be very independent. Just make sure that you can provide for yourself. Don't let the man mess up your dream and promise you, promise you the world because the minute they get you pregnant, it's a different story. They're going to turn their back on you. Sometimes they have to start from scratch. Yeah. And it's not the easiest thing to do. You understand the message? So build up yourself to the point where you can take care of you and your picnic. Mm -hmm. So it's the evil that man comes in your life, you can handle business. You can stand on business. And it's not going to be easy because not having a father support in a child's life is sometimes the most challenging thing. But sometimes, sometimes it's a blessing. And I won't even divulge any too much, but sometimes it's a blessing. Yeah. I did it. Yeah. I did it. You can. Mother, stand firm and strong. You got this. What is left for you to do? What do you feel like is, what, what are you trying to do next? A lot, you? a lot. I haven't done anything. You haven't done anything? No. Anything? You know why? why? I haven't gotten a chance because they keep hanging on. You feel on. like saying that you're not having a chance? They keep hanging wow. on on me. Oh. That's why I don't age because yeah. God has a purpose for me. Yeah. 20 you still years. feel like you've got a road ahead of you to kind of go down still. You have, you have a road left. Ah, 20 years and, and I haven't gotten a chance to breathe and get to be great and successful because yeah. they keep hanging me. But I prayed against it, and I think it's my time now, and I know it's my time now. The chains has been broken. Yes. Amen. No, no I love more. that talk, man. Yeah. <laughs> nobody can tell chain. me nothing about me and my God. When people are trying to hold it up, nobody Break can hold it up. You know what I mean? Yeah. If me did start when people did tell me for something, wouldn't reach here so today. Exactly. So my God I mean? is awesome. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm gonna have the biggest testimony. Yes. Because I don't share my story. I don't talk nothing. I kept it all in because. My mother always tell me, say, when you don't reach the weight, yeah. don't talk your business. When yeah. you get here, then you're talking then you can't business. say, I'm going to go on. Yeah, I want to go on. This, that, that, because they can't break you anymore. They can't yeah. take you down. Yeah. Because every inch of my weight, they try to stop me. Yeah. And I'm talking about the industry yeah. and whatever else and whatever else I'm going to do. But I pray against everything. And my gates are my door open, but I can't touch my gate, I touch my door. Yeah. Fire the pan that. Only God can close a gate, man. So not trouble right yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> man. Right. I will I will out to show the world how talent, talented I am. Yeah. You understand? The world are waiting for me. Yeah. And I'm ready. And I feel like there is an audience out there for you. Honestly speaking, the there, there, there. there's an audience out there. Of course, you. absolutely. Of course, yeah. Everybody um, have their audience. Why me if you have none? And I have a lot my, my fan base is strong. In Jamaica, over everywhere we go. And if I go somewhere, you don't even speak Spanish, um, English. By the time I go with you, you're a fan. That's what yeah. music does. You know, for Captain That's audience. what music And I have to get my fair chance. Yeah. And nobody can. And your that. fair chance after this interview, you're going Crazy. Up on tour. Yes. Or your film. Is yes. it your first tour, like proper tour, or is it like. Or, or um, I'm, I have just little stops here and there. Right. I've always. I'm always a goal, but I haven't been to Europe yet. Yeah. But England, but we're really. I've never done a Euro okay. leg. I haven't done a Caribbean leg. Okay. I'm always going to the US. Yeah. I'm going out to Canada. But like I think J Radio can I, help I, you. I, I just want to do a world tour. Yeah. To just show the world how talented I am. Okay. And I do every kind of music. I yeah. ease on the eyes. Yeah. And I am talented. Yeah, that she don't look bad, she don't look no way. She got the she got the performance. Gives you that talent and yeah. I just want to show that to the world. She don't have her pitney already, she don't do it. She's supposed to show it for re touch the road. That's why she don't want a pitney again. I think it's a perfect time. Her <laughs> marketing can come with me. Yeah, I mean can see your mother I do. Yeah. Well, Danger, thank you so much for coming on my show. I really appreciate you coming and just obviously giving us a history lesson. Even for myself, I really appreciate it. Um, send out a message for your fans. You are so we welcome. Just, you know. You are so welcome. Yeah. Just want to make them know so don't make nobody break you. Yeah. You are just so corrupt. More so bad-minded. Yeah. Because an evil. And people will shut you down if you allow them to. Yeah. So I just want you to know that don't let nobody break you. And don't care about what people say about you. Because at the end of the day, they're just doing that to see how much they can break you or stop you or dim your light. My mommy always say, don't let no one rejoice over you. 
focus on your goals, focus on your dreams, and just continue to oh, yeah. build on that, you know? Yeah. And uh, follow the movement. Um, my Instagram is the Angel Music, and that's yes. where I share all of my everything. Yes. The facts is on my page. Not follow on all else. platforms. Follow me on Instagram, the Angel Music, and my YouTube, that's where you can find all my music on the Angel Bebo. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you log on to the music, you know, listen uh -huh. to the music. Now, uh, listen, everything. subscribe, yeah. and like, share, just do the right thing. And for bookings, check the number. Set the number yeah. 876-288-8047. Alright. Shut me up with email angels with a S production at gmail.com. I'm ready for every aspect of it, from modeling to fashion yeah. to music yeah. to entertainment. I am that girl. Right this so. And so everything in a one person. Uh -huh. Everything in one person. That you, you go to the phone. Or you feel about the interview, you like it? I love it. You love it? It's amazing. Thank you for coming on my show, you guys. Are welcome. Make sure you guys like, comment. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. And again, <laughs> the Angel and Jay Edwards. Goodbye. Right, this all. Goodbye. <laughs> all right, my love, that. Interview, Ooh, that shot, man. Shot, interview, <laughs> shot.